Before we get into this video, we need to put out a disclaimer before EA and Respawn nuke this video into absolute oblivion. This video was made for educational purposes only. This video does not condone boosting, cheating, or hacking in any way, shape, or form. If you see any boosters attempting this in your lobbies, then it is your responsibility to find them and send their ass right back to the fucking lobby. Anyway, let's get into the video. Wait, so well, are you controlling Ready? two things at once? How? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. This is so confusing. What the? What? Yeah. What in the magic is this? So as you see, like we have full control. Are you making the them do that? Here. Yeah, I'm making a move right now. What? Um, I'm, just trying to, I'm just showing off a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's crazy. Control. What? Apex Legends has existed for roughly about five years now, and in those five years, we have seen a countless amount of bot lobby glitches come and go. We've had real bot lobby glitches, we've had fake bot lobby glitches, we've had pretty much everything. But recently, there's been this new wave of certain bot lobby glitches, exploits, hacks, if you will, that has been arising, and it's pretty, pretty prevalent. Recently, there was an ad on Twitter that completely blew up in the Apex community, and it was for for Apex Legends bot lobby boosting services. Now, typically the way that boosting services work is that you obviously message someone who does boosting services and either they're a hacker or they're just extremely good at the game and all they do is just sit there and play the game and boost accounts. But the method that I'm going to show you today uses a very specific way to enter into quote bot lobbies. You see, the person who owns the ad that blew up all over Twitter comes from somebody called AFK Rev. And so, I swiftly decided to find his socials and hit him up on Discord and I asked him if I could interview him for this video. He actually agreed to take me into the bot lobby and explain how it works as well as show you guys what it looks like. Now the bots that are inside of the lobby in the footage that I'm going to show you are very similar to the bots that Destroyer 2009 sent after Imperial Hell during that one ranked match. It basically works the exact same way. The thing about this bot lobby is that you can only do this whilst using a very specific software which Rev has claimed only about four people in the community have this software. A lot of other people who do boosting services are just cheaters and actual hackers. You know guys using aimbot, wall hacks, speed hacks, anything you name it. If you can control these bots bro, um, is that the same, I don't know if you saw it, but is that the same way that a whole bunch of bots were sent after Imperial Hell. You, you know Imperial Hell, do you know that story that happened? He was like playing in a rank game. Yeah, and he just that. got a whole bunch that. of bots sent after him. Is this like the same thing? It is the same thing. Um, however, I don't know how he was making them chase like that. I still haven't figured that out. It's the same stuff. It's it's multi-boxing, it's Python scripts, it's it's stuff like that. So one thing can be said for sure is that this is not a glitch. Glitches are patched. Every single bot lobby glitch that you can think of is patched. And also, I know what you're thinking. Oh, novel, but there are actually bot lobby glitches. Those technically aren't glitches. They're really just abusing the skill-based matchmaking in the game. For instance, if you go into YouTube and you type in Apex Legends bot lobby glitch, a lot of the videos that you're going to find are really just people telling you to land on the map, die over and over and over again, maybe about five to eight times and then reload into another match and boom you'll get put with low level players and even bots because of your terrible performance from the previous five matches that you just died in now like i've mentioned before afk rev did mention that this software only belongs to a very very small amount of people in the community i find it very very crazy how deep this hacker thing actually goes it goes very very deep down the rabbit hole if you want to get into this kind of space you need to know the right people or just get extremely extremely lucky you need to be really doing some devious things in order to get what you want deep within the space of the entire hacking community which actually comes at no surprise because of the simple fact that many hackers in the past who have performed major major hacks on apex legends and the community as a whole have always tried to actually get their name out there every single time a hacker does something really wild like the entire algs hack or even the ag420 leaking all of that information one time or even the infamous hacker from a couple 
couple years ago, Tufi, who we've talked about many times on the channel. All of these hackers have one thing in common. They want to get their name out there. Because the more that they get their name out there, the more they're able to build up a network of other people who do the exact same thing as them. And somebody might know someone that they want to get a hold of. Okay. What I'm doing now is I'm just waiting to land us on the edge of the map because there are real people in this lobby. So yeah, I see. That's why, There's quite that, a few. That's why you get that's why you're able to get real badges, right? Because it is a real lobby. The people you're killing are 100% oh, bots. These are these are my bots. So there this isn't, you know, Taiwan or Hong Kong or whatever the kids are doing now. So as you see like we have full control Are you making them do that? Too. Yeah, I'm making a move right now. What? Um, I'm just trying to I'm just showing off a little bit, yeah. Yeah, so... Oh, that's crazy. What? Wait, so... Well, are you controlling Ready? two things at once? How... Right, right. Yeah, yeah, so... Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, this is so confusing. What the... What... Yeah. What in the magic is this? So I, I know, assume it's a software you use then, right? It's yeah. software. That, that, that's why I said it's, there's only four people that I know of that actually do this because I know the software is one of four. Like there's only four people that have it. So it's some very yeah, discreet man. shit that you just you just don't get easily. You just don't come across it that easy. Yeah. You, you gotta like, really I, go I'm through. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I'm not a computer genius or anything. I just got very lucky. I got very lucky. And how long have you been doing this for? I've been it's... doing this specifically for about a year and a half now. And as you see, I've got 21 kills and a 5k. You you have 5,000 damage right now? I've got 5,177 damage with 21 kills. And now there's 22 kills. So uh, it's been a couple weeks now, but I, uh, yeah, I actually two grand in in one day doing this and like i said that wasn't just afk lobbies that was rank boosts and stuff like that but a lot of it the majority of it did come from afk lobbies um now there is one very unfortunate reality when it comes to this entire scenario that we find ourselves in with bot lobby glitches and even things like hacking and cheating in apex the problem is cheating and boosting is very very profitable i'm pretty sure you heard afk rev saying that he made two thousand dollars in one day just doing this and that's on a good day imagine if you had about three good days a week that's two four six thousand dollars in a week that is significantly more money than most tier two pro players make playing the damn game that's more money than about 70 percent of the content creators within the apex community not only that i'm also pretty sure that there was once a video or a video clip of a hacker talking to another streamer saying that he made five thousand dollars a month doing this the thing is this is such a profitable niche to be in if you're going to actually go down the route of boosting within the community there is a significant amount of casual players who are just really not that good at playing the game and so they can't get badges like 4k's and 20 bombs or even triple 10 badges because the spmm in this game is so terrible so it drives these players who have a massive lack of motivation to grind for the badges to rather just go and get someone who boosts to do it for them and so hopefully next season this is a problem that gets fixed because spmm especially in ranked is complete garbage and um how much have you made in a month from doing this? I think the most I've made in a month is probably, yeah, it was like, the most I've made in a month is about six grand. Six grand one month, and I know that sounds like a lot, but that was that was my biggest month so far. Six thousand dollars. Just teaching them how to do this with nothing else. I would have to charge like thousands, bro. It's it's literally worth that. Like I, I can't even explain like how much money I've made doing that's, this. That's 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 insane. Yeah, that's cut insanity. Back hours at work to do this more like. Damn, this make I you mean, more money than work value. does? It no, it does. It hundred percent does. What? It, Are you serious? Like, yeah, it it literally does, bro. Yeah, it's been like two weeks, but two weeks ago I made two grand in one day. But then, like, off you know, orders two, alone? Then, yeah, off orders alone. But not oh just orders my for AFK God. lobbies. Orders for ranked boosts, AFK lobbies, um, 
like cheap Apex coins. I get orders for all that shit. However, in Apex Legends Season 22, which we all know to be Shockwave, something is getting added that I, I'm not exactly sure how to feel about it, but it is a bit of a 50-50. So in the past, Apex Legends did introduce orientation matches, which were basically matches that every single new player would get into for the first five times that they played the game. And it would just be filled with bots and maybe a couple of low level players just so that any new player can get used to playing the game. Well now in season 22, they're actually adding in bot lobbies, something that you don't just need to have a new account in order to access. You can just decide from the playlist if you would like to play in these bot lobbies and then you and your friends can decide to play on whichever map that you want to in these bot lobbies in order to train. However, much like orientation matches, no, you can't get any badges or anything of the sort from playing in these lobbies. These lobbies are strictly meant for training. However, that does not take away from the fact that this type of boosting will never go away from the game. It is here to stay forever. Do you know any like pros, streamers, content creators like hit you up to do stuff like this for them? Yes, you, you'd be very surprised, man. It's not so much pros. I'm not saying uh -huh. I haven't had pros hit me up, but it's content creators, man, like YouTubers and and, and guys on uh, Twitch and just just those guys, man, I get hit up by them a lot. And they're they're always wanting to be like real discreet and stuff. Like I, I always have customers leave vouches and they're like, yo, I'm not going to leave a vouch. It, it actually kind of shocked me at first when I started getting content creators. So is the reason why you're doing this like mostly just like a money thing because it's just very lucrative? And then that's that's so, why you do it. Yeah, I mean, it boils down to the money. That's that's why I started, and that's really why I'm still doing it. Go online and type in like you know badge boosts for Apex or just boosters for Apex, and look at their prices online. The prices are outrageous, dude. Like, I, I've seen I've seen one badge go for as high as a hundred and ten dollars. What? So like 10, 10, People 10 are paying a hundred ten dollars for a badge? For, for one badge seriously novel get online and and google like badge boosts or ranked boosts or just apex boosters and look at a few of the sites man they're actually it's actually crazy Most and people sites, do it like people actually buy it yes yes bro these are sites that are that are up and operating and that are getting customers all the time i sold an account for two grand to a guy about six months ago and the account was what? Don't, don't get me wrong. One of the very many unfortunate realities that we have to accept as a community is that a lot more people who are streamers, pros, and content creators are cheating than we actually think. We have exposed so many different types of content creators on this channel, and one of those channels being AX. AX is that channel that just does a lot of movement gameplay, and for some reason, he constantly finds himself inside bot lobbies in all of his gameplay videos. Videos. Constantly dropping four to six thousand damage games, 17 maybe being at the lowest to 20, 25, and 25 plus being the highest kills that he drops consistently in every video. And so this is a very common problem within the Apex community. This game is just so competitive, everyone wants to be the best. Everyone wants to have that level of respect that comes with being a good player in Apex. And so that also means that not only are there gonna be people grinding the hours in order to achieve that respect, but that also means that there are going to be people who will go to the depths in order to get that respect, including if it means going down a route like cheating, hacking, or even boosting. It doesn't matter if the person you love watching on the internet is a pro player, a streamer, or a content creator. Take everything you see with a grain of salt. But anyway, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's all I have for you today, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.